Good morning. Oh, Ryan almost knocked me down. Ryan, you want to show me our breakfast? This is the typical Ryan breakfast. This is literally what I make him almost every day. Eggs, toast, and I cut up banana and orange juice. And now he's going to watch the Big Bang Theory and eat. And that's literally our morning every single day. What are you doing? I just put this on my head like I had it hit my forehead. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can do exercise with this. What are you actually doing right now? You get my little guy. Goodbye, baby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like typical morning after breakfast. I always have Brian unload the dishwasher. These days, it's easy, huh? That falls. Well, let's hope it doesn't fall. Is this an easy chore? Assuming that I'm already done with the silverware, yes. Oh. Can I use your feet? <laughs> yes, I can. They're clean. Are they wet? At least you're doing it. That's all I care about. Can you reach Robert? I wasn't on my tippy toes. No, I, I did that on my, on my feet. Oh. <laughs> You've gone crazy. <laughs> I'm not lying. I am a mind controller. Do not put our clean stuff on your head. Finish your chore. You get my bird. This is what you do when you're homeschooled, huh? You can lay in recliners and do your reading. Pretty lucky guy. Are you reading, Ryan? And then and the cupboard. A classic. A <laughs> classic. What chapter are you on? Chapter nine. It's called Shootout. Shooting match. Oh, shooting match. Because there's an Indian and a cowboy now, right? Yeah. Why oh. did Patrick put the cowboy in in the thing when he knew there was an Indian there? You know cowboys and Indians don't work together. Oh, dear. I mean, put the cowboy and the horse in his sock drawer. I don't get that. This just happened. They just came over and he can't sit in his own chair. Why is it on your phone? Your face looks red. Do you see that? I have rosacea, Ryan. Don't say anything. I need to put makeup <laughs> on. Does Why it look it? redder on my phone than it does? Yes! Okay, see guys, I don't really look like this. That's good. Thanks, Ryan Bird. Okay, keep reading. He arranged the foot. You're on the packed earth of the seed tray. About six inches from the entrance to the longhouse first moving the tp to safety but what about little bear he said he wanted to keep warm that's why he wanted the fire he's very sneaky this indian <laughs> so tell me what kind of what's this time of our day what do we do bible time we do bible time and why do you sit on the table during this time because i need to get out these papers and it's the only place i feel come the when the books are on the table to do research. But why do you sit on the table during Bible time? <laughs> you don't even know. You just like it. I just, I just, I just do it so then I don't have to like jump onto the table when we're doing our solar system thing. Oh, okay. Okay, it's where did we leave off on? Twenty nine. Okay. We, last time you did nineteen through twenty eight. Of chapter one? Yep. All right, so today we need to start on? Chapter two? Chapter one. Chapter one. Verse 29. 29. All right, so I usually read to him um, a little baby chunk, and then he like has 15 minutes and he journals about it. So that's what we usually do. 
All right, so let's go ahead and start our Bible time with Ryan on the table. And we're reading John 1, <laughs> verse 29. <laughs> Stop hurting yourself. I literally just went, yeah! All right, this is about when John <laughs> testifies about Jesus, okay? So you got to listen with your ears. Yep. All right, here it goes. We're looking up some words. We're looking up testimony and baptize, I think. What was that? It we we looked up baptize and it and at the end it it says where was I? It says baptism is a sign that sin is washed away. And it just reminded me of oh happy day, happy day, you wash my sin away. You're funny. All right, so now we have 15 minutes of journaling and. He gets to write whatever kind of came to him in Bible time or whatever he wants to write down. Lately, he's been writing definitions, but we'll see what he does today. And 15 minutes on the clock. Okay, guys, as our day in the life continues, it is, I don't even know what time it is. I don't know, maybe, all my clocks are wrong. This is like a problem my clock on my oven it is not four o'clock my clock on the wall says let me see if I can turn you guys my clock on the wall says it's like almost eight that's wrong I don't know I have terrible clock stuff I think it's like a little bit after two um some of the neighbor kids just came and got Ryan so I let him I I kind of let him go and didn't let him finish it didn't make him finish school so I sometimes like only child guilt gets to me and I feel bad that he has like nobody to play with all the time so I will just say like when he gets to play I always like let him play and I'm like you know I will be okay tomorrow's a new day everything is fine and so you know but yeah, so I'm gonna take advantage and um, do some household chores and get some stuff done that I was gonna do while he did school anyway. So we'll just do school this evening, right? Does that work? I think so. But I probably should go put like some makeup on because Ryan said my face looked red in this camera and it really does. <laughs> so, but I'm literally still, I'm in um, a tank top and pajamas and I am going to clean my house. I see no reason to get dressed when you are going to clean your house. So I did not get dressed today and did not wash my hair or anything because I, I see no reason to get up and wash your hair if you're going to and get dressed and put makeup on that's expensive if you're going to clean your house and get all grubby and sweaty. So, so I'm going to clean my house and then maybe I'll get ready and feel like a human probably not. but hey at least i'm taking care of everything and that is the most important so right now i am going to um load my dishwasher clean my guest bathroom um probably pick up the house and then i need to swiffer my kitchen uh floor really bad and probably go around and throw some laundry in because I'm a laundry Nazi. So, so come along with me and um, you can see typical day in the life with us. what just happened to me my Swiffer won't work I have no idea why so plan B is I'm gonna spray a bunch of stuff on the floor and I'm gonna use my Swiffer as a mop and go for it from there I actually have like a shark steam cleaner I just don't feel like it it works as well I like it in my bathrooms I just don't like it in my kitchen all right adapt we're gonna adapt and go on so annoying
that worked as well as I wanted it to work. It'll do for today and then I'll figure something out tomorrow and I just didn't want to go to the store right now. So I'm just not sure that worked as well as I wanted it to work, but it looks better. It's calmed my OCD and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> this is my no holds bar, how it looks right now, guest bathroom or Ryan's bathroom. And so I'm going to straighten up clean and probably enough that I'm going to have him come and do it. So this is my, this is my trick. I, um, have Ryan, I actually come in and I clean the bathroom and then I come in and I have Ryan clean the bathroom because he can't really mess it up if it's already cleaned. And the only thing he's doing is making it cleaner. So when he's out with his friends right now, I'm going to clean the bathroom, make it clean. And then when he gets home, I'm going to be like, Oh, you know, your chore is to clean the bathroom. And it's really only because I know I should let him do it and just let it be how it is but because it's like my guest bathroom so if somebody came to my house it's what they would use um i'm just super particular about it just because you know you want to make sure it's like actually clean and he'll get really mad if i go back and like correct like correct him which i guess anybody would so this is like my key that i've been doing my little sneaky tool that i've been doing is all the cleaning that I'm gonna do today maybe tomorrow I'll do some more but yeah today I'm good <laughs> I cleaned two bathrooms I don't know if I filmed both of them I cleaned my guest bathroom and then I have a half bath and I cleaned both of those I mopped my floor loaded my dishwasher and put the sheets on my bed and I vacuumed um, I always vacuum <laughs> instead of sweep because I have like a central vacuum and so I vacuumed the floor before I mopped it and I um, vacuumed the living room too. So I kind of vacuum the living room and like my dining room and kitchen like almost every day. So every time Ryan's like, I'm trying to do school and all I hear is the vacuum. It's like, sorry, that's just how it goes. So that's all I'm doing today and I'm gonna go make dinner and I don't know what else we're gonna do. All right guys, on our unexpected typical day, um, my neighbor called me and Ryan was playing with her kids and she said hey come over for dinner and I said okay But I feel terrible I just got bright I feel awful because I had nothing to bring like nothing so I feel bad I'm like going over to her house and I have Nothing to bring in like a large enough quantity that it would really make any sort of a difference so pray they give me some grace. <laughs> these, these, are like, these are our neighbor's chicks and they love Ryan. All right guys, so my attempt at trying to share just an ordinary day <laughs> with you kind of went a little bit south because um, we got an invite, I got to go meet some chickens, um, then we came home and I talked to Anthony on FaceTime. Me and Ryan read a little more in his Indian in the Cupboard book. Tomorrow he will have to do, um, usually on Tuesdays when he has co-op, um, I don't make him come home and do school. Um, but tomorrow he's going to have to do what he didn't do today. And so it probably won't make him very happy, but 
you know, if you want to play, you know, you got to just do it another day. So that will actually work out really good. So, um, cause it was kind of free time that we had anyway in the afternoon, we weren't doing anything. So he'll have to do that. But other than that, my kind of ordinary day just turned out to not be so ordinary. So, um, then tonight me and Ryan read two chapters of his Indian in the cupboard book. And now he is, um, has gone, already gone to bed. So I am, I was going to edit a little bit, but I think I might just watch some Netflix. <laughs> I've made lunches for tomorrow and, um, for co-op. I got everything together for co-op. Oh, Ryan hadn't done his presentation for co-op, which he does. He has to do a presentation every single week. And he did not do his presentation. He had talked about what he wanted to do. But he hadn't, like, done anything for it. So at 7 o'clock, he had to, like, write out his presentation. Mom fail. Oh, well. At least he just wrote it out. He kind of knew what, already what he wanted to do. But, um, I don't know. Just wanted to share an ordinary day. And it kind of makes you think, like, do you really have ordinary days? Or is every day kind of special? I think every day is kind of just special and different and unique in its own way. Because... I would have never guessed that this morning that my day would have ended like this. Not that it's bad, it's just different. So I think I'm going to watch some Netflix and try to actually sleep. I will see you guys tomorrow as usual with another brand new video. Bye!